Hi folks and welcome to another episode here of the tutorial fort. Now um I've had builders over all day ripping my roof off. So I am uh recording this in between the short gap I have from when they left to when I play Dungeons and Dragons tonight because as you're all probably surprised to learn, I'm a huge nerd. Okay, so we're still waiting on the lead bridge. Now, I did manage to track down that legionary. Oh, well, the, the one who was starving and dehydrating and we couldn't figure out why. That's him there. I think he actually went crazy and left the, um, the squad. That's why even though none of the, none of Relic's team have been killed, they're not, yeah, they're missing a guy. I think he just went insane and left. Now, we are going to uh, make, apparently English could make a champion. Is it going to let us name Relic as our champion or not? Because it might not let us with him being captain of the guard. might not let us name him champion. Oh, look, there he is. So he's now our champion. Doesn't need anything. I don't think it does much aside from make him sound fancier. They're off to bury him and redistribute his armor now. Let's go take a look at our burial hall. Which I would have loved to have done something a little bit more fancy with this, but we just uh, after the whole bridge thing, which was I still maintain not my fault. I think after that we just needed a, a place to shove the dead, and this seemed like it would fit. And then how are things looking down here? There's plenty of vomit spread around the fortress. Gotten Beast is still around. We might try and deal with him this episode just to give us something to do. Of course, we might also just do a bunch more raids on the goblins, see how we can annoy them a little more. Yeah, the legionnaire has been found dead. But I mean they they've already taken his body away to bury it, so. Oh wow, the um the thread that was stitched into him is just back. That is just a little bit gross. Okay, so what else what else can we aim for in terms of goals this session? We'll try and take out the Forgotten Beast. Because our people are pretty good shield users, the fire shouldn't kill too many of them. But I am expecting to lose at least one, maybe two or three actually, depending on how effective shields are, because I honestly don't know. Too injured? Has someone been fighting again? No? So I guess he's just uh, overly injured from whatever it is he's been doing. Our stone breakers are all digging, that's nice. It's nice to see socialize being on there as well. It means that people are um, spending time in the tavern. We have 116 citizens. We have a cap of 140 right now. So we should be seeing some immigration waves at some point. Rovod the Surf is just too injured to do anything. Let's take a look at Rovod. Let's, uh... Let's take a look at Rovod's health. He can't grasp. And he has just been... Yeah, that looks like he's just had a bad couple of days. No treatment scheduled, so I guess he is just gonna stay that injured. So let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah, that just sucks to be him, I guess. He's got a wife in the fort, and he's producing uh, heirs and offspring. So we'll eventually get all those killed by whatever enemy decides to come rip them apart. But I think we might actually head on down now. Find our old friend, the uh, Forgotten Beast. Okay, so he's... He's up here. Somewhere. There he is. So, let's take a look. Does that... No, so we need this bit. 
Does that... Okay, can we go all the way up here? We can. So what we're actually going to do... This is the bottom floor here. I'm going to designate a mine... Oh, actually, we don't even need to. We are going to designate a... Up down stairway from there. All the way up to where the Forgotten Beast is. Now hopefully that's actually worked. We'll have to wait for our miners to um, finish what they're doing. And once they start mining that, we'll station all three squads down there. And we'll wait for the Forgotten Beast in the tunnels where he's less likely to be able to use his AoE flames on us. Of course, I do think it's going to be a couple of minutes before that's ready, so we'll leave them to it for now. And then what we'll actually do, we'll go back to our Forgotten Beast. I'm actually going to designate this as the highest priority. And then someone should come down here and get it done. Now we know we have access to these parts of the caves because we've seen our dudes down here. Yep, here they come. Oh, what are you fighting? Human crossbowman. What are you fighting? A giant orm. Isn't that like a giant sea thing? Well, let's say anyway. So what we're going to do now, we're going to get squads A, B, and C. We're going to order them moved down here. They should all station around and then... We're going to order them to kill the Forgotten Beast. Start this episode off with a bang. Hopefully we don't fry and barbecue our brand new champion. But it is, of course, a possibility. Now, at the very least, Squad C should beat the miners here. Whichever one it is who's coming to do the staircase. Well, they got here at the same time as them, so it's close enough, I guess. So let's follow him up here. I think okay so we didn't actually couldn't complete the up down staircase there so maybe we have to designate just a downward staircase ah, did we do that as highest priority we did but is he coming back to do it he might have Oh, here he comes. So we're watching this guy. Hopefully the uh, A and B squads have got past this point already. I am seeing some of them. They're just kind of wandering. They are still stationed down here, but they seem to have uh, begun to just kind of wander around. I'm glad these dwarves know how to navigate these caves, because I'm not going to lie to you folks, I am lost AF. Well, plenty of our soldiers are around. So let's, uh, let's take a look here, Forgotten Beast. Is he moving towards the staircases? He's not, okay. Well, it's paused, so here he comes. Get to the bottom here. Okay, so squads A, B, C, kill from list. A lot of elk birds, holy crap. Where's the. Yeah, Utash, the forgotten beast. See how this goes, eh, folks? Well, I already see some fire. There's a lot of fire being thrown around. seeing uh, lots of attacks, lots of breathing fire. Oh, Fickard is dead. Yeah, I don't think this is going well, folks. 
I no longer see the beast. And let's just check here. When we press military... Oh, Jesus. Well, the, uh, the B team did not do well in that engagement. Now everything down here is just smoke. What happens if we go... Zoom to this guy and take a look at him. I actually don't see him. He's in the smoke somewhere, but... God knows where. Oh wow, one of the one of the legionnaires is actually in there. Still stabbing at him. At least one is anyway. I wonder how many we've lost now. <laughs> Hacks yeah, they're still they're still fighting at him, but they're really not doing too well. If, if, if this becomes the end of the fort, I'm honestly not too upset about it. We've covered most of what I think I am uh, capable of covering anyway in Dwarf Fortress. Dangerous terrain. I wonder if that means the fire. Oh. Wouldn't like to be that legionnaire. They're getting uh, limbs taken off. So let's see. Does everyone still... They still all have the order to fight the beast. Someone was just set on fire. I guess now we just have to wait and hope our... Uh, I think someone was just being chased by elk birds as well. Forgotten beast strikes the legionnaire. But, oh, so someone is still fighting the beast right now. I wish we could see it a little better, but... Um, sadly not. Lots of this beast attacking other people, but not too many attacks going against the beast anymore. So I can only assume that uh, this battle is pretty much lost. But we did punch the beast. Oh, we fractured its skull just now. Oh, but then the beast scratched the legionnaire in the head and the head came off. The surf. <laughs> oh wow, one of the surfs ran in to try and fight the beast. It seems like people are trying to get equipment and stuff instead of fighting the beast. Is it still... Oh, it's strangling the surf. Well, that's not going to go well for him. So, around half of our military is not here. They've just went to do other things, I guess. The beast is in there. It's now fighting elk birds, I guess. So, squads A, B and C should be killing this thing right now. Why aren't they? Let's go look at this guy. What, where are you? What are you doing? You're now running down the stairs to go fight him. So the second wave is now on their way down, I guess. Unless they keep losing sight of him in the smoke. I see. Well, I guess in that case, we'll just have to follow him until he's done hiding in the smoke of his own creation. Once the A-team get hold of this guy, it should be a slightly different matter. I would hope, at least. Oh, wow, yeah, just that was just a, a human spearman. Not one of ours. Well, one of ours, but not one of the dwarves, so it's not that important. Once the, uh, oh, there is a, a spearman down there, one of ours, who is that? That would be Rith. Oh, this could be this could be good. Rith is one of the best people that we have. I think that was one of our miners who was just set on fire. Who is now in the smoke with the Forgotten Beast. And because our soldiers can't see it, they can't fight it. It's in one of those tiles there. Oh, there he is. Here comes Rith. 
Oh, and he's lost sight. <laughs> well, fighting things with fire is a pain. Like, they just won't go near it. Because they can't see it. You know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna set a military alert. I should have done this from the start, but it's just killing all my civilians right now. I had pictured this fight going by in an isolated part of the cavern and not needing the uh, military alert. But I severely underestimated the uh, sheer amount of devastation the flames can cause. The caverns are now on fire. Luckily that can't affect us in the fortress proper because of the lead and uh, other brick buildings we have between us and the the other stuff. We're still following the beast. It's literally just stood in this smoke right now. So once the smoke clears and we get line of sight, we should run at it and get set on fire again and then lose sight. Although I do think it has ran out of uh, things to burn almost at this point. At least in the direct section where it is. Now we should start closing on it. They do still have the orders, so they should, anyone who's capable should be running at it right now. Oh, who is that? Oh, that's, that's the other Thickard who is being set on fire. See, this is the issue. It just keeps setting us on fire one by one and not allowing us to uh, fight back. But like I said, if this thing kills the fortress, I am honestly not going to be too upset about it. Once it gets into the stone areas where there's nothing to burn, it should hopefully be a bit of a different story. Oh. It's caught in a burst of its own blood, or someone else's blood. Huh. <laughs> And they're founding towns nearby to us, so uh, I think the nobles will be moving there when we're done here. I can't tell if it's running away or if it's purposefully hiding in its own smoke, but... Oh, someone actually managed to get into combat with it, and they're gonna die. Well, folks, um... That's about the end of the military. <laughs> I think we're, we're going to cancel this order because it's just not working. People are just getting shot with fire inside this cave and dying without the squads being able to close in. I am quite annoyed that they won't um, go to the last known position of the Forgotten Beast. They will actually just stand in place and wait to be found one by one. I guess I could try manually moving them into the smoke with a move order, but um, at this point I don't know if there's any point because they ignored the move order the first time around anyway, or quite a few of them did. Hopefully the beast is burning in its own fire. Is it immune to its own fire? It might be. It's caught in clouds of boiling blood. We'll wait and see if it's even taken any damage. And we'll maybe try once more with the military we have left. Because we do still have a lot of our best fighters. Do we still have Writh? Writh and Relic are still alive. And they've kind of been the, the stars of the show as far as... Uh, as far as the military is concerned. So I want to see how they do against this Forgotten Beast before we call this a done deal. Of course, first we have to find the damn thing. Wait, is it dead? Oh, it's dead! I guess it burned alive in its own flames. Oh, well, we'll end the military alert then. Well, that's going to cause some other issues. There's going to be a lot of hospital trips now, I guess. And uh, a lot of our... A lot of our military is dead. I need... How did it die? Because I don't think anyone got the kill. I think it was literally... 
it's we choked it on our own blood it literally died from being steamed alive on the blood of the people that it killed there's probably some kind of message in there not sure what it is probably something about don't attack fire breathing giant monsters in deep underground caverns I think that's the the uh, I think that's the deeper meaning here. Well, the uh, Stormbreakers and everyone else are having a good time. Let's go check out our uh, hospital, which is probably completely empty. Huh. Didn't see that coming. I guess anyone who encountered the Forgotten Beast was just killed outright. Well, I think what we may do is... Uh, well, first we're going to reinforce using... We're probably going to take apart Squad C, just disband it. And we are going to use the people who were in it to reinforce Squads A and B. Because they've already got a lot of the training. And uh, the squads are a little bit depleted right now. I honestly expected that... Um, the... Forgotten Beast would rampage through our fort before it was done, but I guess not. It literally uh, steamed itself to death on our blood, which might be one of the most metal things I have ever heard. So I think we've lost 11 or so military. Maybe more. Yeah, we've lost more. We're down to 16, I believe. Let's take a look on Dwarf Therapist and see if that's true. That is one of the um, most dangerous Forgotten Beasts I've ever seen. Where are our Legionnaires? Yep, we're down to 15 Legionnaires. And Udib something or other is now captain of the guard. So we'll assign this stuff to him. The stuff that was uh, thick odds. So I guess congratulations to everyone who survived that just now. Through sheer luck. And some kind of karmic justice being visited upon the forgotten beast. Hopefully we have enough graves. Probably uh, put a few more of those out because we lost some druids and other people as well who went down there to pick up the bodies. Well, when we get another migrant wave, we'll uh, reinforce the squads and make a fresh C squad. But that definitely did not go according to plan. If um, anyone who's watching has dealt with uh, flame beasts before, could let me know what I did wrong, that'd be great. Plenty of people uh, complaining about missing legionnaires. There should be someone going down to grab the bodies. But I guess people just can't be bothered right now. Oh wow, and uh, is that Relic's new outfit? As the champion. We'll have to uh, wait and see. I can only assume that's Relic. Yep, Relic has a new uh, new sprite because he's the champion, which is pretty cool. People should go find the uh, missing dwarves at some point and bury the bodies. Our corpse stockpile is looking pretty substantial over there too.
So we lost half of our military there to a, a single beast. A lot of them were um, from B and C. There weren't too many of A squad lost. I think we'll, we'll give them a little bit of time off before we send them out on another raid though. I imagine people are going to be very upset over the next couple of uh, weeks once again. In fact, what we may do, just so I can show it off, because I'm not sure how much longer this fort's going to last. I do want to show off some different kinds of raids. So we're going to go to this place that we know we've hit once or twice before. We're going to press raid. We're going to add commanders. We're going to send both of these guys. But what we're going to do is when we go to details, we actually want them to um, pillage. So they should now head out, but when they get there, instead of trying to sneak in and take stuff, they are going to openly show up and just try and kill people and take their stuff. Which should result in more loot and a lot of goblin deaths or a lot of our deaths. Hopefully we'll get a... Um Migrant wave soon. Some more people to chuck into the meat grinder. All of our shops down here are working about as efficiently as they can. Erish, what do you want? You want us to make bracelets. We can definitely do that. There we are. Human bard is visiting. Nice. We'll need some people to cheer us up. And I think if our, uh, I would like to make some noble quarters for Relic, and I would also like to make something for Rith. I think I'm going to try and make a section down here for military commanders, but it's just a little bit fancier than the places they're living upstairs. And seeing as we're going to end up with a third squad, we're just going to build down here, kind of at the halfway point on this administration level. Some not... These rooms aren't going to be crazy. Did you know that was right? No, I don't like that. That's that's not a good shape. Maybe something more like an actual square going up with doors that way. And then yeah, that could work. So it's a what? It's like four by five with an extra two on top. So these rooms aren't crazy extravagant. But they're just a place for um, military commanders. To put their feet up in somewhat respectable fashion. Now I know we lost at least one druid and one surf as well, so we have some of those to replace when um, the migrant wave arrives. We may try from this point to try and only get the um, the people who are becoming peasants who grow up. We might try and recruit those guys into the military more than the migrants. Because they don't really have any skills. I hope I we should still have some wooden doors to put in these rooms. What else do we have going on right now? 
Got some crundles down in the caves. Still can't believe that thing boiled itself to death. Wait. Oh, yeah. I think it literally the last fireball, it, it blew up a legionnaire. And, uh... Maybe it was just wounded as well. Like, it could have, um... Could have bled to death. From, uh, being hacked up by the dwarves who did actually get close to it. It's a possibility that I would like to, uh, put out there. We're on the A-74 now. I think we embarked on the A-68 or 69. So we've been here for a decent number of years. Interrupted by uh, Crundle, probably. Yep. Unfortunately, some numpty has sent all of the military away, so we can't deal with the Crundles right now. We can order this uh, commander's wing smoothed out. I don't know that anyone's going to be free to actually do that. Oh, well, they are. Look at that. Oh, there's still a few bodies. I guess these bodies were literally just like burned to nothingness. In which case, let's um... Get a bunch of slabs ordered. I think we're going to have to start engraving some slabs again for the missing bodies. And then uh, we'll wait on this raid coming back and then probably end the episode when they do. If there's something you guys would like to see tutorialized that you haven't seen already, let me know. Because I've basically kind of... This this fort has reached the point where it, it will just sustain now. And I could experiment with things. As long as I don't continue to um, kill my military in horrible, horrible ways. Speaking of, they should all be off the map by now. But some of them are still just kind of leaving. Oh well. I don't suppose that will slow down the raid too much. It'll just get picked up on the way home. Unless the raid is back. Nope. But a surf is fighting a crundle. That is... The captain of the guard, isn't it? Yeah, so there are still legionnaires here. They're just not doing their jobs. There's quite a few legionnaires here. What's going on? Oh, that's just a spear dwarf. It's not one of our legionnaires. Quite a few adventurers in the tavern, do we? We don't have any uh, petitions, so none of them have decided to stay yet. Probably because we treat our adventurers very poorly here. Have any of these grown? Nope, they're still young. Emotional shock pretty much all around. If you want, like, if you want to hear something quite uh, disturbing as well, I don't bother to check the gender of my dwarves before I assign them to the military. A lot of the more competent um, dwarf fortress players, or like the, the ones who really want to do well, will not assign female dwarves to the military and it's not because they're any less capable it's because dwarven kids cling to dwarven mothers obviously there's no milk formula here so dwarven mothers in the military will walk out onto the battlefield with a baby just like in a papoose on their back and they will just go to town on a goblin siege raining arrows down upon them and they've got you know little cog just sitting on their back, playing with a rattle. So that is something to keep in mind if you are inclined to do well in the game. Well, I say a game. This is a, like, medieval fantasy 
simulator more than it is a game. Bloody elves. We do need to kill some elves at least once before we end the... Uh... Huh. Nice. Yeah, before we end the series, we do need to uh, kill some elves at least once, just out of tradition. Maybe we'll try and hit them with our ballista. That'd be cool. That would be my Discord. Thank you, Discord. Check that on my phone. And then I don't have to uh, put the message up on screen. Huh. So if you guys... This is a tutorial of another kind. If anyone here has Windows 10 and you get this, where your bar is stuck at the front, bring up a task manager. And you should get... Um, oh, wow. There's a good old optimized dwarf for us. The way to fix that, scroll down a ways until you get Windows Explorer and restart it. That will fix the bug of having a start bar stuck on the front. So if you're watching videos or anything and you have that, there's how you fix it. Waiting on our uh, legionnaires getting back now. This human maceman seems to be going to to uh, going to town on these crundles. What do we want, Mister Erush? What do we want? We want bracelets. We already know that. Wait, English is a English is in the military. Oh, we must have voted for a new count. Huh. I guess we'll have to assign him the uh, the rooms when he gets back. We did put that artifact um, bone bed, by the way, in the, the Count's chambers. Let's check who he's assigned to right now. Current owner nobody. I wonder if the previous Count died. I, he was like a druid, wasn't he? The old Count. Well, there's an easy way we can check. We can go down to his tomb. No, he's not dead. He wasn't buried. Huh. Oh, well, I guess we'll, uh, we'll figure that out at some point. It's a mystery for the ages. They're still traveling. Now we are going to try and make these... Um, they're not really nobles' quarters, because they're military commanders' quarters. But I just think they deserved a place down here on the, uh, the admin level. We're also going to add a... Um, a chest and a cabinet into the head doctor's office. Nothing fancy, that office. It's a tiny, tiny, pathetic room, really. But we had originally only intended to lock a couple of dwarves in there. And it's two and a bit times the size of the, uh, the prison chambers. So when you've got that going for you, right? Guess we could also order it engraved, just to make it a little bit, uh, a little bit more tolerable of a space to be in. Assuming you like art, that is. Hopefully, we get a uh, substantial migrant wave this year. We could do with the extra labor. We could genuinely do with a bunch of dwarves. And as I said, I think we'll assign Rith as uh, the third squad captain. 
So he'll end up getting a house down here with Relic. Kind of the midway point between uh, the surface and the, the caves. Yep, just another uh, another Grundle being killed by a human. I wonder if we still have that elf pikeman. I think I saw him up in the in the tavern. Is that him there? Oh no, that's Tuco. That's a human pikeman. Human spearman, human bowman, one of the medics. We might have lost our elf pike man. Which is a shame, because for a while he was kicking ass. That's the same Crundle. It's a shame we can't check the map and uh, check on where our expedition is and how long we expect them to be. Let's uh, go to our Crafts Dwarf and let's start looking at engraving some memorial slabs. We'll get those nine engraved, get them placed and then see what we're going to do next. Another human crossbowman's visiting, that's fine for you. So we are getting an absolute ton of stuff incorporated into our holdings, which is all fine and dandy, except for the fact we don't really know what to do with it. Now some lucky buggers in those jail cells are going to get some nice pieces of art to look at, but what I really hope is that they get like the really crappy engraver who just makes a picture of a circle. I think what we will do, folks, when the raid gets back, we will um, kind of re-establish the military, get everything sorted, and then we'll probably retire the fortress, and we'll do an episode looking over the Legends viewer, and then we can go over reclaiming a fortress in uh, the episode after, which is uh, it's a fairly simple process. But it comes with a few hang-ups. Especially if you leave a fortress for a long time and come back. The AI can make some damn ugly alterations to it. The way the AI generates bedrooms for dwarves, for instance, is uh, little 2 by 2 rooms. But it doesn't have any kind of rhyme or reason to it. They're just these winding corridors. Hopefully these guys get back soon. They didn't go too far away, but I guess it did take a couple of days for everyone to actually leave the map. Oh, performing troopers visiting. That's cool. I've never seen that before. I hope they don't turn out to be elves that murder us in our sleep. I have played a lot of JRPGs. You never trust a traveling troop. It's just... Any JRPG or D&D campaign, if there is a wandering troop, they're either necromancers or spies. It's just how it goes. They're back. Awesome. Let's see how this went. So we'll see a lot more of... Um, right, so in the early spring of 74, yada yada yada, Relic Furnace Strong outmatched the goblin Lacey Chandip with a cunning plan and the attackers had a strong positional advantage. Let's see, the dwarf Ubil. Oh wait no, the goblin, yeah, confronted the dwarf. And the goblin's right foot was ripped. Oh, I thought I was gonna say like ripped off, but nope. 
Uh, his upper arm was smashed, and then he was struck down. Shem got a kill. Oh, Rith. Who'd Rith kill? Uh, oh, Rith killed the enemy general. Nice. So then we took treasure and left. What treasures did we get? A tin bracelet, a giant cave spider silk bag, an iron pick, cave spider silk rope. Okay, nothing fantastic this time. But it was more just to show how that works. Well then, in that case, let's check. Yep, the, uh, these guys still need four more. So we still have our 16 military guys. But I think very briefly, seeing as we have the end of this episode, what we're going to do is, for now... Retire the fortress for the time being. You can also abandon it to ruin, which will literally all of your dwarves will leave. So we're going to retire it for now. And that's because I want to show you another gamer mode. A game mode called Legends. Which isn't so much a game mode as it is a world viewer. And it's, it's super cool stuff. You can find some really interesting stories in there. I think we, we'll probably look up the life of um, Rith the Legionnaire and we'll find out the life of uh, Relic as well. And then we'll see if we can find um, like a vampire or a forgotten beast, something with like a really interesting story. There we are. So what you do, you go to Start Playing, you go to Legends. Now we only have one region, if you had more than one region that you weren't currently playing in, it would give you the option of where you wanted to view. Historical figures. So this is our historical figures. So what we're going to do, we're going to search on, uh, sorry, filter on a string, which is F, and we're just going to look for Relic. Oh, and I'm getting a phone call, folks. Don't I don't use this. Cold callers. So there's Relic, Furnace Strong, the male dwarf, born in 50. Let's go take a look at him. So he was, uh... Born to two dwarves, settled in spray figures. Lots of other things happened. Uh, yeah, it's, it, he just... That's the life of uh, Relic. He's got two notable kills, a dwarf and a giant. And he's killed two goblins when they went uh, on their raids. Oh, there's a, there's a female cyclops. Let's take a look at this. Well, just attacks and enemies and killing a bunch of things. Related entity. Jesus, look at the enemies this Cyclops has. With only 13 kills, the Cyclops managed to piss off pretty much every civilization in the game. So I guess it's just automatically an enemy. Edmund... The Orc in Brightness was a Cyclops, so I guess she's dead. She was one of the first of her kind, associated with thunder, strength, minerals, longevity, lightning, and light. So we're not finding anything super, um, super, super cool. So I'm going to end this episode off here, but this is, uh, this is all Legends mode is, folks, is you can look at sites. Let's actually try and find our site. Now, who were we? We were, like, Revered... No. Yeah, Revered Ring, that's us. So here's the the history of Revered Ring. And this is like everyone in Revered Ring. Every masterwork we've ever made. All of the people who've settled. So if you were ever curious about the history of one of your places, you could come into Legends mode. You can only do this when you're not in the game because you can use this to kind of cheat. Like if you have a vampire in your fortress, you can use this to find them. So it's kind of cheat like that. But this is how it works. And I think uh, next episode, what I might do is off screen, I will start another fortress somewhere, let it run for a couple of months, and then we'll go back to uh, Revered Ring, and I'll show you how to reclaim a site. So, as usual, folks, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs>